Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to make this 3D twisted text box using the free Cinema 4D light that comes with After Effects. Okay, so we start here in After Effects, we go up to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D file and that will either launch Cinema 4D or the free Cinema 4D light that comes with After Effects. It'll ask you to save that. So let's add a box to our scene just by coming up to this box icon, clicking once, that'll add a cube. We're gonna come up to our deformers which is this curved kind of cube, click and hold, add a twist and make that twist a child of the cube just by clicking and dragging until we see that down arrow letting go. And we can then go into the twists attributes and say fit to parent. That will kind of close the box around the box. Um, and then if we play with this angle, we can see we can kind of twist it. Um, but this is obviously twisting the wrong way. So then we need to come up to our cube and under coordinates, we can put 90 in the bank and then add some length in the Y. Let's put um, 650. And then we can go back to our twist and say fit to parent. So one thing you might notice is it's not quite deforming to the shape of the box. So all we need to do is add some segments um, along the box. And to see that, let's go up to display garage shading with lines and then back to our cube and just add some segments in the Y there. And as you can see, that kind of smooths out that twist. So we could probably put something like 70 in there. That'll make it nice and smooth. So let's quickly just talk about navigating around our scene. We can either use these three icons at the top of our, at the top of our perspective view. So pan, zoom, and orbit or you can use the one, two or three keys while clicking and dragging. So one to pan, two to um, zoom in and out and three to three click and drag. My keyboard's just died. <laughs> three to click and drag, there we go, to orbit. And let's just talk about animating this. So back to zero, we want the twist Let's zero out the twist angle for now and just work on the cube's animation. So we want this to first kind of be stationary, almost tilt backwards, then fling itself round and have a bit of overshoot. So all we're gonna do is go back to zero there, add, add a keyframe in the pitch just by um, pressing this little button next to the P on the coordinates of the rotation. Jump forward 10 frames kind of tilt this back as it's going to kind of throw itself round, add another keyframe. That's the one thing that differs between After Effects and Cinema 4D, you have to kind of add a keyframe, it doesn't add them every time you move an object. And then it's gonna fling round maybe to about 50 or 60. Um, so let's do one full rotation and just keep going round until we see 360. Somewhere, that's 360. And actually, let's have this overshoot slightly. So it's kind of, if we kind of bring this back, we can see, dum, boom. And then let's have it kind of carry on in that motion, um, probably to somewhere like that. So let's override that key keyframe just by clicking that again. And then we can have it level out at around 70. So we can put 360 in here and then we get something like this. Let's play that back. So we'll play around with the keyframes after this, but that's the kind of basic animation we want. So let's animate the twist. So if we click on our twist and go to object, and then on angle, it's gonna be at zero, at zero. And then at 10, it's kind of gonna be kind of wound back, so I'm gonna to go to like ne negative 64, something like that. Then it's gonna do its rotation, um, and at 60, it's gonna kind of overshoot there. So let's go to something like that. And then the box kind of flips itself back right. Um, 
let's have it kind of overshoot the other way there and then come back to zero after that. And so then we get this. So to play around with the curves for this, we can just go up to window and then go to timeline F curve and we can just go to both of these, have both of these selected. We can use the one and two click and drag to, so one lets us pan around, two click and drag zooms us out. So we can just use a combination of those to kind of line up our graphs. After the anticipation, it really needs to throw itself. So if we click on the red one is our actual cube rotation and we can just take these handles um, and to break the handles just hold shift and then we can do a kind of curve like that maybe and we can play that back so that's a lot nicer kind of a lot faster in there at the beginning and then it kind of whips back I think the other thing would be nice is to bring um, this twist so it kind of really whips back at the end so it kind of like that, something like that. Now let's add the text. So let's go up to our spline, which is this little pen icon hold and get our text spline. And then we need to give this text some geometry. So I'm gonna to go to the extrude, which is this box and click once, put the text underneath that. And as you can see, that gives us some geometry. Let's just align this kind of in the middle, just using our axes handles and we can also change the text if we've got that selected we can change that to twist and let's also change the font because this one's horrendous something like that it's a little bit big we can bring down the height and bring that down to maybe 10 and it's lost within our cube, so we can just make sure that po that pokes out. Just add some rounding or some caps to the text. So if we go under the caps tab, just add maybe three centimeters there, and that gives some nice rounding to it. So that's our text set up, and all we need to do now is make that a child of the cube, and we get a nice animation.